I'm Dr. Kathy Altman. I'm a retired OBGYN, and I used to be an abortionist. And I'd like to tell you the story of how I went from being someone who aborted babies to someone who now tries to save babies. After college, I took a year off to um, make money to go to medical school. And during that time, I met my future husband and I got pregnant and decided that abortion was the best option for me. Later, I regretted that decision, but at the time, I thought that was the best thing I should do. When I entered medical school, I truly believed that abortion was a woman's right, the right to choose, and I was very adamant about it. And I wanted to help women. During my training, I learned how to do DNC with suction abortions. And then I sought out extra training to be able to do the D&E abortions or dismemberment abortions. After getting my medical license, I was able to start moonlighting doing abortions at a, at a clinic in a nearby city. I got pregnant the last uh, year of my residency and during that time, I still continued to do abortions and really didn't have any qualms about it. I felt that I, my baby was wanted, their babies were not. I didn't see any problem with that. What did change my mind was when I went back to the clinic after delivering my baby, I ran into three patients that changed my life. With the first patient, I realized that I had done three of her previous abortions. And when I objected and didn't want to do it, the staff told me that I didn't have that right. It was her right to choose, even if she wanted to use abortion as her birth control. She had the abortion. I talked to her there afterwards. She still did not want to use birth control and wanted to use abortion as her backup. The second patient came in with a friend. And oftentimes, the patients did want to see the tissue. The friend asked her, do you want to see the tissue? And she snapped at her and said, I don't want to see it, I just want to kill it. And I wanted to say, what did this baby ever do to you? The last patient had four, four children already, and she and her husband felt that they just couldn't afford another child. So she cried throughout the whole time at the clinic and it just broke my heart and it was at that point somehow I made the baby fetus connection and the fact that the baby was not wanted was no longer enough for me to do the abortion and I never did another abortion the only time I had any qualms other than that was when I did my neonatal intensive care unit rotation. And I realized that some of the babies I was trying to save were the same gestation as babies that I had aborted. The problem is that I still believed that a woman had the right to choose abortion. I still believed in abortion. And I still referred patients for abortion. As I began my practice, though, I noticed that there were women who kept their unwanted pregnancies, even very young girls, and they seemed to do fine. And then I was seeing other women who'd had abortions who were coming in with psychological problems and being extremely distressed. I was also seeing the complications of abortion. And this didn't jive with the feminist rhetoric that I had so closely embraced. And so I began, I began to be a little uncomfortable. What finally changed me was a very loving friend gave me an article and said, would you consider reading this? I know what your position on abortion is, but would you just read this? It was an article that compared abortion to the Holocaust. 
suddenly I realized that I was no different from the German doctors who did horrible experiments on people or the Nazis who exterminated so many. I suddenly understood why they could do what they did because I could do what I did. I did not see the fetus as a human being, just like the Germans did not see the Jews as human beings. When you don't see someone as human, you can do anything you want to them and not feel bad about it. That was the point where I became pro-life. And after that, um, it took a lot of prayer and a lot of counseling for me to get past the fact that I was basically a mass murderer and to get over the fact that I had aborted my own child as well as so many others. You know, I always love to meet people that I delivered, but it's bittersweet because I know there are so many that I will never meet because I aborted them. The thing to remember is that although we can't see who these little people are, they are people. They're still in the womb, but they're people. And, and we don't know what they're going to be or who they're going to become, but we need to give them a chance.